do hey welcome guys on a video on welcome to an echo combat glitches and trick video and show on how to get out of bounds in dyson a few tips on what disclaimer do not attempt this glitch because it still hasn't been patched or may has been patched already so i would not recommend doing this abusing this glitch at all or anything how to get out of bounds in combat in echo combat is by going in here and basically um go through the thing at the first thing see this locked door right here how to get out of bounds in combat is by looking through this crack right here in the center you see this line right here so this line you can get out of bounds by doing this method as long as the first flingo has not hit that first checkpoint if the flingo hit the first checkpoint orange team has an advantage and get through like here what's interesting about this map is it doesn't load in load all of it in it loads some of it in and dechunk some of it which is kind of interesting i haven't experimented it all but this map is kind of interesting how it's designed technically it loads one part of the map in then it then once that hit first checkpoint in it loads this and dechunk some of the starting point so that's how it works so the same never mind to the point we're gonna try to go out of bounds with the flingo try to get out of bounds through this door and how to do this is you gotta go in this crack right here and try to it's like the poly door glitch but more you gotta physically grab the grab the wall and try to basically basically not use thrusters or anything i'm gonna you gotta basically uh Put your head in the crack so i don't see the crack so let's try to basically you gotta go sideways i think it's the best to go sideways because your vr head says sideways and that's how you get out of bounds on dyson and once you if you fade off too far um what's interesting about this place is i found some interesting uh Thing. see that thing right there this is kind of crazy so this is like a leftover access from the developers so there's like two dots right there that you can see it's like a twinkle star so around that corner uh, you can see like an up arrow on an off button which is like the uh, this is like the unbreakable switch which is recharged. unusable so you can't like do anything even if I look at my arms that doesn't do anything even if I like which is basic. Let me try this. It doesn't work. Basically, even if I press it, it doesn't. Um, the advantage, which is all blacked out. Sorry about that. Um, the, the advantages of doing this is you can check around the whole area without being guardian killed from the wall master on dice. This area does not have a wall mash or anything, so we're gonna check out a few areas for a bit. So, you can't spawn into the enemy's base, but you gotta be careful. So, let's check some areas out first. So, you can spawn, you can go into the enemy base if you're on blue, so it'd be like. Oh, what the heck just happened? So see that little star right there? That's the orange base. On that side is the blue base. So if you boost your all the way over here, you could technically spawn kill the enemies from this map. Um, which I would not recommend doing because spawn killing is uh, cheating and you can get you banned. This is a disclaimer, so don't do this in public. Just do this in private just for the fun of it. I just like showing glitches that are like technically breaking the map boundaries in ways um i wasn't the one i found this glitch um a friend called keyboard willy uh found this at first so and what's weird about it is he went through walls but this one's kind of weird i don't know how he figured this out but i wasn't the first to find this technically this keyboard willy was i think keyboard willy did said to the dev that there might be patching this soon so even if it gets patched, I recommend um, doing this before it's too late. So, yeah, this is the orange team base on blue. So, see if it's orange. To tell if it's orange, look at the layout, the floor. It's the orange team side. 
So, uh, yeah, this is about it for this video. Hope you enjoy. This is like a big map layout. There's actually a weird on and off switch, which is definitely the uh, inoperable uh, light switch. So, yeah, friends can't find it, but I'll, I do know where it's at now. So, disclaimer, do not do this in public matches. You will get banned for cheating and exploiting. It's not my fault that you're doing this. I did this in private, so just for the fun of it, just to explore out of boundary. Uh, some cool keynotes is you can climb on top of the flingo, which is visible, but somehow when I got out of the map is the flingo turns invisible. I'm kinda trying to get to the area faster, just to not waste time on the video. Sorry about that. So, a few things to note, there's, there's that inoperable switch. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, some of these respawn points, right? Oh, that's just the map. That's weird. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, we're, yeah, I got distracted. Some of these areas might have extra spawn points. You can see the flingo, but sometimes it's glitched out or something. But you can climb on it, but it's not really a full-headed flingo. It's just a flingo with a really large head. Kind of... Yeah. This is kind of a cool thing. Uh, I might speed up the video just to show you a few uh, detours. So let's... Uh, yeah, the flingo will disappear unless you look at it in a certain direction, so... It used to be solid in previous updates, but they removed the... yeah. Let me try to... Okay. Trying to get a good look at it. Yeah, the Flingo is definitely headless. So... Okay, I'm gonna head off soon. And thanks for watching, everyone. The flingo was visible back in previous updates, so you can see right there. It's not a solid flingo. The flingo is a lie. It's a fake flingo. It's a fake prophet. It has a head. It's just a head of a flingo. Wonder if I can try to climb it. So see that spawn point right there? You could definitely climb that flingo. Yeah. You gotta be careful when you're in the area. Try to make sure you grab what you're grabbing. Cool. You're almost near the flingo, which is like, oh yeah, that spawn point. I think that goes to the blue team spawn or orange. Team... No, that's orange team spawn. Come on, come on. Where is it? I don't see the flingo, which I'm kind of like screwed over. So try to go up it. Yeah, I kind of see it. Guns are disabled. Best way to... Here it is. Weapon overheated. Okay. Yeah, technically we are on the flingo, but we can't see it. So... Where is it? Regenerated. Okay. Yeah, you see, I'm grabbing around the walls to see what's around it. Definitely a uh, access building. So that's interesting. There's some collision. Let's go down here and try to spawn into that zone right here. And just spawn back in. So that's how you get yourself back in if you get lost or anything. So yeah, that's interesting. That's a weird black purple glitch. So hope you enjoy this uh, exploration of Dyson Out of Bounds Edition. So thanks for watching, everyone, and hope you enjoy your day. A disclaimer: Do not do this in public match. That's all you have to do is just don't get caught cheating. Basically, <laughs> just don't do it. Just. 
don't do it at all. It, this is totally cheating at the fullest extent. Blue team has the advantage because they're close up there. If you want to try to get out of bounds quicker, just go into phase, go across the map, and basically go out of bounds as orange team. But disclaimer, don't do this, don't cheat, and don't exploit the game. Thanks for watching, and peace out.